I say you the you the best, you the you the best, you the you the best. Any nigga who's mine, oh mine. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the top five ways to keep a woman for 10 years in counting. Now the thing about this is, I have been in a relationship with my now wife for about for 10 years and counting now. So I have that experience to share with you guys for successful relationships. Understand, this is not a video for players, pimps, and hustlers. Well, I can't say hustlers, but I thought that was funny to say together. But this is not a video to win a girl for the night. I'm talking about the long game pause. <laughs> Well, not really, but anyway, this is advice that was given to me and now I'm sharing it with you guys, which has helped with my relationship over the years. It hasn't been perfect, but we are still in it together and uh, I'll let her tell you if she's happy or not, but I know she is. She better be. So let's get into it. The top five reasons to keep your woman <laughs> for 10 years. Number one, give 100% to her. Give her 100% expecting zero in return i've posted this plenty of times on my on my facebook you can't leave your relationship up to chance and that is the basic understanding of that concept give a hundred percent in everything you do leave nothing to chance give a hundred percent expect zero in return and you will get a hundred percent in return two which probably should be one is be honest women need somebody that they can trust people women love to have somebody that they can trust do not lie own your shit like a man sorry for the bad language but you have to be honest you cannot lie to her you cannot leave her in the dark be honest you don't lying is a huge problem and when a woman has trust issues it's just not a good situation so you might want to tell the truth my brother and, and honestly, a relationship built on lies and all that, not good. Not good at all. Three, actively listen. Our women talk, my woman talks a lot. And it's important for somebody that's on the other end of the chatty patty to actually be listening because you are gonna have to give your opinion. You are gonna have to give some solutions to some problems. You are gonna have to recall something that she was talking about to help out in the situation. You are gonna need this for gifts, I, gift ideas, for anniversary ideas. Um, you're gonna need this information that you're getting. You are constantly being fed information for the, for the multiple tests that you're gonna receive throughout the year. And as an active listener, you will one, be her, be the person that she goes to to share all her feelings and emotions, which is very important. You will always know what to say. Or if you're not really good with your words, you will at least be able to point her in the right direction. So understand that no, like listening and knowing what's going on with her, you will have a better time at accept, uh, assessing problems and being able to help your woman out when she needs help. Four, be a part of her world and ha invite her into your world. And what do you mean by that, Rajan? What I mean is, let me put my phone down. What I mean is, if you're watching a game, invite her to watch the game. She don't have to like sports. If you're an Eagles fan like I am, make her an Eagles fan. She don't have to like the Eagles, but she's gonna wear the shirt during football season because that's a part of your, um, that's a part of your tradition. Make her a part of that. Be a part of her world. You don't know how many chick flicks I have been to and paid for tickets at the movies. I can't stand Sex in the City and all that. I went to see Fifty Shades of Grey. Actually, the second one was really good. That was a good movie. The first one, I think I fell asleep. But the second one was good. I'm waiting for the third one. I'm excited about that. But that's kind of to my point. Become a part of her world. So if she's doing the girly stuff or she's doing the stuff where most dudes won't show up with a woman, do it. It's very important because there's always going to be some dudes around. You don't want to give them that opportunity. And again, this, is, this just goes back to just 
having your woman as your friend. If it starts like that, then it's perfect. You don't have to do everything together, but she has to feel like she's wanted, and she, you have to give her that option to be like, nah, you can go watch the game with the boys, not just feel completely left out and wondering why she's never invited to watch the game with the boys type of thing. I don't think I said that perfectly, but you get the point. This is number five, and this is very, very, very important. The ultimate thing that you need to know to be with your woman forever and ever and ever and ever is to be a man of your word. And that kind of ties them all in together. That's to, some people might say, oh, well then that's just like being honest. Saying you're gonna do something and doing it is huge. And it's crazy because I've recently learned this and I'm 10 years in with my woman. At the times where I've said I was gonna do something and actually did it, no problems. Other times where I make promises that I don't keep, huge problems. Be a man of your word, and that kind of ties in with all of them. If you can't handle something, be honest and say you can't handle something. If you're going to take care of X, Y, Z, make sure you take care of X, Y, Z. It's very important, super important, like vital. Like this is uh, this is the this is a game changer. It's not a game changer. It's to, it keeps the game going. How about that? You really need to understand that. That's why I'm up on the camera. I'm up on the lens right now because you really need to understand that. And I can't stress it enough. Number five is the most important, all right? So let's give a quick recap. All right, giving our women 100% of us, not expecting anything in return because we don't leave our relationships up to chance. We are being honest, we do not lie. We mess up, we, do, we don't always get, we're not always perfect, but we are honest. And when stuff comes out of our mouth, it is the truth. Be honest. We are listening, we know what's going on, we know all the gossip. We take in all the gossip with the girls, all that stuff, we listen. We listen to what happened on One Tree Hill, we know, all right? Listen, 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 actively. Give opinions, okay? You gotta say something back. She's saying stuff to you, say stuff back. She belongs a part of, she has a seat at the table in your world. The best, the best, <laughs> the best thing I could use is sports. She's an Eagles fan too. That's the best thing I could say, all right? You can watch one game a season with her, <laughs> just one. And be a part of her world too. Don't forget about that. And you know what the last one is. I don't even gotta say it, but I'm gonna say it. Be a man of your word. Be a man of your word. And that's it. And you'll have a relationship forever. 10 years and counting for me and my wife. Yes, it's very exciting. Not perfect, but we here, we here. And I say the same thing every single time. Whatever do you want me? Whatever do you want me?